So hello and welcome to another Budget Model Railways video. Um, bit ironic really given that we've just done a video on how many layouts we've had because I've just built another one or started building another one. The reason being I got home from work the other day, well not work, um, but I'd had a very stressful day uh, with a, a, for a number of reasons. And I got home and wanted to just run some trains, watch some trains go around which is very therapeutic. Now the loft's not ideal, it's not really finished, it means going up there, cold day, all the hot air goes up into the loft, blah de blah. So I was looking around thinking, well, where I've got shunting layouts, but I didn't want to shunt. Now I've got the area that I've used before, which is where Homewood Valley and Homewood were, but the layout that was in there was too big and too heavy. Anyway, I stood in the kitchen and I realized that here I have a lovely little space, loads of light. I've got power underneath. It's in the warm and the dry. I haven't got to go down the shed. It's in nobody's way. Now what made the idea possible was this. You've seen us use this before. This is, I don't know how to pronounce it, so you'll have to excuse me. Juf or Juf, the, the French company. And this is their 1970s uh, train set track that we've used on things like Rosens Hill. But it's a set track. But it's a tra set track that's only 27 inches wide. Um, now, given that I can get 040s round 18 inches, I'm reasoning that I can probably get some bigger steam locos around this. So that made it possible to, as a concept. So what I went and did was, I made this. I've made myself a baseboard. Now I haven't built a baseboard for years and years and years. I've always used uh, bits of timber. Um, now as you can see, I've made this to fit that gap. I could have made it wider. Uh, there is room in the other area, but not longer. But by making it wider, it defeats the whole object of getting it on this island. So this has been built the traditional way. So this is 40 millimeter by 20 millimeter. Um, I, I suppose what would originally have been called two by one or something like that, but it's 40 by 20. Now I had some big lengths of this left from when we had a, a summer house built. So that didn't cost me anything. And the hardboard came off a um, wardrobe uh, that we saved. So it didn't actually cost me anything to build this. Now, I will do a video at some point, but the frame's just been made the traditional way. Now, fortunately, I did cabinet making and woodwork as an O-level in the 1970s. So I'm quite handy with a saw. Uh, little halving joints, Doug can just show on the end there how the ends were done. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, you can't use hardwood. Oh, no. There's a lot of nonsense talked about the tops of model railway layouts. You can't use hardboard if you want to put track pins in because it tends to bounce back out but I use track screws, so it's not an issue. Um, it won't warp or anything, it's supported enough. Um, it's not gonna get any more wet or damp than anything else. Um, so frankly, I'm quite happy with it as a material. More importantly, it was free. So it didn't actually cost me anything to build this. Um, you can see I've done the beginnings of a track plan on here. So we'll have our curves. This will be the station. Long platform that I'm hoping I can get two Celestri coaches in with a bay. And just nice and simple, like all the other layouts I've built, like it's really a big version of the mini one I built for, Ring, for um, Bluebell Railway. So I can run passenger train and a bay train in there. That will be one siding. This is two sidings. Good shed, um, coal yard, cattle dock. In a layout that's 50 inches by 28 inches. So obviously I can get a lot going on. Now I also want to do a lot of scenery. So this will have a raised country lane coming down here because I'm going to move the whole layout an inch that way. Level crossing through the village and then up over a railway bridge and off. The railway area will be inch or so higher than this so that you come out of the station onto the road like real life. So there'll be two or three different levels, cottages and things through there, a lot of scenery. I'm hoping, and when I get the bits, we'll have a go at running it, that I can get some bigger locos round. Now, I have had to buy some secondhand points because I haven't got any Pico. This is going to become quite an important layout. I'm not prepared to use Hornby because the plastic frogs are too big. So I've got some secondhand Pico points coming that cost me £5 each, so that's a big saving. Haven't got any roofing felt. Could have got a bit of old knackered felt from the tip shop. Um, but I found a guy online that I bought it brand new for seven pound including postage so let's see what that's like when it arrives um, we'll put a big piece all over so a lot going on um, but I'm quite well, excited about all my layouts but this could be a really interesting one because there's two places it can sit to be run 
and I can run some interesting locos with lots of operating potential. Um, and it's really just a big version of the little layout I built for uh, Bluebell and it'll have everything I need without being big and unduly heavy. So, um, thanks for watching. There uh, should be lots of updates on this. A bit frustrating. I've got a bit of spare time this week, but I don't have the points and I don't have the roofing felt, so I can't do much else with it. I will just show you one more thing. So how about this then? This is um, quite a well-known image, I know. Um, Prairies, 262s, I just think this is a 280, but that kind of designer loco, they're my favourite. I know this is a well, very well-known print, but it is the epitome of what most of us are trying to achieve on a model railway. And I've actually seen two versions of this in Railway Modeler that people have built. Um, it's quite a nice big print, it's in good condition. It's a big, big framed print. Cost me five pound from my local amenity tip shop. So that's gonna look rather nice in my railway room when I get it. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that for five pound. So there we go, uh, another interesting week in the world of budget model railways. Uh, please do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, please do when you've subscribed enter our Christmas train set giveaway. Um, but we really would like some more subscribers please. So if you've watched this video or any of our others and enjoyed them, please don't forget to subscribe and spread the word, you know, like it, share it, make sure as many people as possible know about budget model railways please. So thank you very much for watching and we'll talk to you again. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.